2025 for the 8K television. We see the power supply. We have power here, one input, and power there. So this is just the power supply, external power supply, because the power supply covers a lot of space inside the TVs. Samsung tried to, to bring it out, to have it in external box, in order to, to make the TV look slim. As we can see, it's a very well-treated power supply with uh, nice coils, nice transformers, uh, regulators, the white gum for the vibrations. Everything looks good, better than the ones that the other TVs are having. So the, there is one input and one output. That's it. To provide power to the subsystems of the TV from here. There we connect this cable, the transparent one. One connect power box. Okay, the TV has not, on, not only the power supply ex external, in a, an external box, the power supply has the interconnectivity as well in external box. This is the interconnectivity. This box here, it's another plastic box. We see the inputs. And all the processing is taking place here, the switching of the HDMI's. So we have four HDMI's as you can see, Ethernet, we have uh, USB, uh, what else we have, uh, optical output, this is for the connect, for uh, power supply, and two more USB's on the side. This is a switch probably for, let's see, for pairing. This is the pairing switch with the TV. So this is the tuner, tuner is, uh, consists of uh, of a satellite and terrestrial reception. It's just one box, not independent one, or like the Chinese televisions. Here, as we can see, we can see all the chipsets that the, this board contains. Here we can see the processor, wireless connectivity for Bluetooth, I think. It's the Wi-Fi. So let's examine it more. So the processor is here. Samsung SDP24 something. We see the memories around of this 8K television, the flagship of Samsung for this year 2025. This is the second external box. TV has two boxes. One is the power supply, the other is the, this one that we are examining now. On the back it's like this. Again, Samsung provides a flexibility with this extra board to have your interconnections close to you, near to wherever you like, not on the television. So here we can see the two boxes. So TV works even with the power supply. If you don't connect this one, does it works as well. This one is wireless. All the inputs uh, of the TV are wireless. This, this box accepts 8K 120Hz or 4K 120Hz for gaming. It connects wirelessly with the TV. This QN990, it's, it's a wireless television because of this box. This one makes the TV wireless. And in the center we see the chipset that may, takes care of this wireless feature. So the output of this uh, box takes, you see, a lot of inputs. The output is wireless. Signal can be received from the panel. This is the remote control of the television. Small, very convenient. The user very well known Samsung remote control that can be charged via the solar panel of the, in the back, via USB-C, where is the USB-C, here, or via RF signals from your router for Bluetooth, can be charged very easily in different ways, has built-in battery. This is the new remote control for 2025, very small, very convenient, because the, most of the job will be done Via, via the Smart Things app. So this is the back of the television. We see four, four goofers on the back. The, the center piece is stable, but the other are is moving. Four, four goofers from this side and four goofers for that side. Probably there is a driver behind this grill here, another driver. And Samsung has a lot of audio drivers, another here in order to create this uh, surround uh, sound. So it's 75 inch, it's a big TV, guys. Here we connect the cable from the power supply that we present before. The cable from the power supply 
And for emergency reasons, we have the micro HDMI here, has a, a gaming uh, pad symbol, and we have a USB ports as inputs. All the others are wireless from the box that I present before. We see the back cover, which is which the back cover has this uh, rough finish that it's nice. On the side has this uh, pattern. The, that is Samsung is using it uh, quite a few years now and here we install the stand or here we install it on the wall so we're taking a close look on the back cover of the TV now we see the more carefully the drivers you see what a beauty guys look at the four woofers here there is an extra di driver as well here this one looks like a tweeter so this is a closed box, box actually to produce low frequencies. We have two sets of these drivers, or four woofers plus one tweeter. On the side now, on the side we see the same tweeter and flat driver, a flat driver, mid-range. On the on the top, that fires back as well. It's the, another speaker with two drivers, two-way speakers, speaker, very slim, very thin in order to produce this thin TV. And here we have this configuration, this other driver. Samsung is very advanced in audio engineering, so knows what it's doing. Don't forget Samsung owns Harman, like, that means JBL, that means uh, Mark Levinson, all these brands are come. So it's, it's, they have the engineers and they know how to produce this kind of audio systems for the televisions so inside here we have no power supply since the power supply is a external device but we have this board as you can see that looks like a power supply this is the driving system of the panel the processor that is on the back of the television the processor is here somewhere here is the processor underneath this heat sink is the processor of the tv down here is the another controlling unit that produces all the signals that driving these mini led zones here we see the wireless feature the input the wireless input of the television receives the signals here this one looks like a second power supply for the board for the panel itself this it looks like a power supply because all the boards are taking power from this so this is another power supply detailed you see it's not you see the capacitors here how look how many capacitors are here and here let's have a panoramic view of this 75 inches tv you see it beauty in every aspect so let's now i put it uh, the cover back so these holes here are for the tweeter, as we see before, for the tweeter, for the driver that is on the side, for the that driver that is on the top here. The holes here are for the main unit in order to, you know, to breathe, to... So the pattern around here is not for audio, it's for, heat, for decoration and for heat sink. So let's have a panoramic view of the back side. It's a huge TV, guys. So we started. We have started to measure the image quality of the TV. Now we are running the AutoCal system by using the Kalman from Port Displays in order to calibrate the HDR movie mode of TV and to check the brightness and the colors later. So now we have to calibrate the TV. As you can see, we are running the AutoCal system. We are trying to measure the brightness of the TV. In different window sizes. Maximum brightness is almost in HDR. It's almost 2000 nits. Now we are doing the color coverage, the gamut coverage of P3, 87.43 the first one and 91.86 the second one. We are adjusting, the, we are calibrating the blue, you see the, that square is the target and the circle after some measurements has to be inside the square. If this happened, the blue is perfect.
So you see there, Carmen has already all the specs of Samsung 2025 8K. So guys, I put the 75 inches of Samsung on its stand. I connect the power, the external power supply. I connected the wireless box. It was an easy task. It was an experience for me as well because this TV is very smart. Recognizes a lot of uh, things. With, has an AI in every aspect. Uh, uh, recognize, uh, has what I did. I did this one uh, device chair. I went to the self di diagnostics, and from here I test all the the material. Let's say all all the specs. Uh, I what I, I I liked a lot the video test that they have here. This one with the dogs, you see. This, this is 8K with the dogs, beautiful. So it has a lot of uh, smart things here, smart things is the app, but it is actually there are a lot of light sensor checking. If it works, yeah, it's totally a dark room now here. So it's, it's a great TV, as they said. It's a great the experience so far. It's very nice. I connect the smart, my smartphone with the SmartThings app. So now I can control a lot of stuff here. If I have a sound bar, if I have uh, different uh, other devices, I can uh, see them here. So, but uh, a TV is not to play around with different uh, automatic things. It has the art this year. Samsung have brought the paints from the frame here of the frame lineup. So you can enjoy frames, uh, I mean paintings, but uh, you have to register but let's have a look if it is try in art mode download so it's you, you can become a paint on the wall this TV is very thin it's wireless look look fantastic if you have your TV on the wall you can have a paint there all day decorated your life your every day instead of watching television okay let's go to the real stuff now let's go to settings settings i have uh, disabled the ai mode I have do it it i'm going to the old way so all settings all settings we have the picture mode picture mode it's dynamic echo I put it as a filmmaker mode we have so I checked the movie and uh, we're gonna start connections I have uh, connected everything it's on the Wi-Fi the TV I have connected the wireless box uh, Xbox as well and then we're gonna play some content to see what's going on here first of all let's check the gaming features it's capable of 4K 120Hz, yes, of course. Details, says here does not uh, support Dolby Vision for gaming. This uh, red flags there, but uh, Samsung has not Dolby Vision anyways. Tizen, the system has not, uh, has not uh, Dolby Vision. Maybe in the future they will have this thing because Samsung always surprises us. Maybe next year we'll collaborate with Dolby and uh, enable the Dolby uh, uh, vision in all TVs. But uh, there is no such a need. The TV has all the dynamics to present easily the Dolby vision. No problem. So this is the game menu on the bottom. We can see... We can see... How smart is the TV. Use the voice, the volume. You see more settings, mini map zoom. Mini, mini map zoom is 
it's nice because it provides uh, like it's like a microscope you can see details of the image for example from the car here we can see details by moving this square a lot of TVs they have it this year we saw mini map recognize the title of the game and adjust it accordingly standard RPG RPS FPS sports original let's leave it to auto the aim point you know business as usual more selection game mode, mode auto mini map audio detection surround sound on black coalizer game picture expert so from here you can calibrate or play with the you see the has hdr 10 plus gaming so let's measure the input lag of this tv now it's 36 milliseconds 34 much better 39 milliseconds so the remote uh, has no backlight so this year the menu is different than last year here we can see the upscaling in, H in HD upscaling is very nice of the television You see now how it better is become the image. 2000 nits, 2000 uh, Netflix it's 1000 nits, this content is 2000 nits. Performs very well, we see the shadows here, you see the jewelry here and the snow. This mini LED 8K is one of the best in the market right now. I don't know how many zones because uh, Samsung does not say the number of the zones and the number of the mini LEDs, but the colors, the, the way that uh, the picture is handling, the clarity and the, and the definition of the images are very, are top level guys. So the contrast here is very high. That's the key thing of this television, the high contrast that has, the brightness and the way that manages the image. If we apply AI mode, let's apply, this is the AI mode now, and tries to make the image extremely, you know, up to the, the limits, but we are out of the standards. But anyways, what we see with our eyes when the AI is applied, it's a marvelous. You, you love it. Even though it's not real, you love it, guys. So, guys, I think that's it. Thank you for watching. That was the 990F from Samsung in 75 inch. Very nice mini LED TV. Samsung is a leader in 8K televisions in the market. So, if you, if you like to have the maximum technology that is available right now on, on the market, this is the way to go. Thank you for watching.